And that's why I wanted to do something. I don't want to keep doing the same thing. I always like a challenge. And this part is definitely the hardest part I've ever had to do emotionally and physically. So I just hope people get on board and come and support. Sheridan Smith has come to see us at Smooth Radio. Can I start by saying I'm a fan, I'm an admirer, I've tried to see you in everything that you've done on the West End stage. Um, But... This one that you're in at the moment, opening night. Yes. Uh, you've set a cat among the pigeons with this one, hasn't you? <laughs> I have, I know. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Though. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, do you know, it's such a different sh- uh, show to, the, you know, the happy, clappy musicals that are in the West End right now, really. Um, and that's why I took it, because I wanted to do something so different and so challenging. Um, and it's really out there. I mean, it's innovative, it's brave, it's bold, it's... It's completely different to anything that's out there. And I think that's important to keep theatre going like that. Yeah. But, you know, a lot of people that come don't get in it, but a lot of people come and they love it. So it's really kind of my. But it's it's basically an honour for me. It's, I'm like very proud of it because I get to work with Eva Van Hove, who's this amazing director and art you know, creator, and Rufus Wainwright, who's written all the music. Um but it's a very kind of dark play with, with music, obviously. It's a musical, but it's it's not, you know, your usual tap dancing jazz hand show. Right? And it's <laughs> based on a movie from the 70, 77, yes. I think. Yeah, it is. So tell us the story. So the what's, story what's it about? Okay, so the story is about an actress who um, is uh, opening a play on Broadway. And she's in a quite a bad way at the beginning anyway, uh, mentally. But she hates the play. She can't find her way through the play. Uh, Also, her ex-husband is playing opposite her. Um, And then uh, a fan, uh, played brilliantly by Stuart Haas, who's an amazing actress, and a fan gets killed at stage door, and then she's haunted by this this character and, and goes into psychosis, kind of has a mental breakdown. And she's hanging on by her fingernails and the whole company don't know if she's actually going to make opening night because she's having this big mental breakdown. So that's the film. And then obviously you've got Rufus Wainwright's beautiful kind of haunting music. And Evo hasn't seen the film, the director. So he do, he's he wants you to bring yourself to it. So I'm allowed my tattoos out and everything, you know, it's kind of... But the, the stage is stripped back, so there's no wings. You see all the cast on stage all the time, behind the scenes. We, we change on stage, like in dressing rooms. Uh, the band are on stage with us. There's also a huge screen that's... That they're filming us, like a like, documentary team following the play within a play. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's a piece of art. I'm just so proud of it. But it is definitely, it's, it's taste. It's, you know, if you want to come and watch something intelligent and ch- be challenged and layered, then this is the show for you. Was there any time during rehearsal when you thought, this is a bit much, you know, we are pushing this a little too far? Do you know, the, the rehearsal process was quite intense just because I had to find all these kind of emotions of this character and you kind of have to live in it all day. Uh, now that the show is set, I, I find it like therapy. I go out there and just cry and scream and leave it all on stage. But I don't think... I know, I think that Evo uh, Van Hoven and, and Jan, his, his partner who he works with, their vision of, uh, you know, the way that they've done it, it is like, ah, oh, it's just... It's, it's, it's... People will love it or hate it, and that's how they work. That's how he does every show. Yeah. He, he wants that kind of divisive you know, um, thing. So I never thought, I just trusted them and was very honoured to be kind of in a room with them, really. Um, But yeah, it's out there, it's different, but I'm I'm with the most amazing company of actors um, and crew who are doing all the film work as well. And... And we're just having a great time. There's a lot of camaraderie amongst us, so I'm loving it. And a lot of the audience is, you know, up standing and dancing at the end, and then other people, it's not their their taste. So, um, but I'm very proud of it. What are people saying to you at stage door? So I, I know you do quite. Yeah, you, I do, you do always this, try I always and do, do the stage, stage door. door. Yeah. Do you know what? Lovely, lovely <laughs> things, and and even people who've been to see me and Shirley Valentine last year, whereas it's the opposite because I talk to the audience in that, you know, whereas this is kind of more. Um, you're looking in on a theatre family, so it's not not like little winks to the audience like I can usually do. Yeah. But even they, you know, come to stage door and they were like, it's so different, I love it. And it's, you know, it's so different to Shirley. And that's why I wanted to do something. I don't want to keep doing the same thing. I always like a challenge. And this part is definitely the hardest part I've ever had to do emotionally and physically. So I just hope people get on board and come and support. You mentioned Shirley Valentine, <laughs> yeah. David Pugh's beautiful production. Yeah. And that really was... The complete opposite to this, wasn't it? That's you at a set of a kitchen. Yeah. And you broke my heart. I mean, you always break my heart, Sherry. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. Oh, thank but you. <laughs> um, that 
setting there? Do you just seem so comfortable talking directly to the audience? And, yeah. And there was a point when I thought, oh, she looked at me, you know, and oh, <laughs> God, she's, she's doing this for me, you know. Oh, do you know, that was a wonderful experience. I, I, was, I loved it. I mean, it was obviously just me on the stage, so it's nice to now have actors to actually play with. Um, but it was, I had the audience to play with on that, so that was, that was fun. And again, so different. Like, I was terrified of doing a one-woman show, but I ended up loving it. And this, again, is completely different, the other end of the scale, you know? So I just keep liking to challenge myself to different mm. things. So, but yeah, I did love that experience too. I, when I watched that, I, you know, I, I thought, this, this is a, a show that she can tour, bring back to London whatever she wants. Aww. You can take this anywhere in the country. Yeah. Do two weeks in... Edinburgh, do two weeks in Birmingham, you know, anywhere you want to do. I mean, yeah. would you do that? Would you? I would, yeah. Again? I think that's what David would like. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but I, I haven't got the time at the minute. I'm doing opening night, you know, till the 27th of July at the Gilgood. I know I said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but then after that, I, two days after, I start filming a job for four months. Um, so it, it will be a while. But at some point, because we've got the set and everything in storage, we could easily, you know, tour, do a, a little tour of Shirley. I'd love that one day, yeah. maybe. A holiday first and a bit of time with myself. You need a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to run myself into the ground. <laughs> and I'd, I'd love to talk to you about the very first thing I, and I'm sure a lot of people saw you in for the first time, which was royal family, the royal family. Oh. Auntie's girlfriend. Auntie's girlfriend, the vegetarian. The veg <laughs> <laughs> and what's the, fant the, the fantastic line from... Is, can she have, can a, she have a, wafer thin ham? A little bit of wafer thin ham. It's, and people still say it to me. I love it. It's, she was yeah. amazing, this myth. Yes. That was such. That was one of my first ever jobs. And I remember walking on the set, and there was like Carolina Hearn, Sue Johnson, Liz Smith, all these amazing actors. I was so nervous uh, and so young, um, but I loved it. I mean, what? I mean, it was genius yeah, it was first time, wasn't it? Nineteen ninety nine. Was that when it was? I think it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, God, I'm getting old. <laughs> god, but it was so. For that, you know, that was before Gogglebox and everything, yes. you know, but people just sitting watching telly and it was genius, wasn't it? Caroline and Craig who wrote it, I mean, I just think I was very honoured to be part of that so early on in my career. Did you have to audition for that or had they, did they write, did they know you then? Did, did they... Well, weirdly, I'd, I'd done, just done a, my first ever TV job was, was a sitcom called Dark Ages and the director was Steve Bendelak and he was doing The Royal Family. So he put my name up for it. So that's how I got that. I've been very lucky. It's been a lot of luck throughout my career to get me to here. Because I a... certainly didn't have the drama school uh, training. So, <laughs> But you, you did National Youth Music Theatre, didn't I you? I did that in the school holidays, yeah. Right. So they used to do that like uh, you would for it and then they do it in school holidays that's a good way for kids to get into it you know especially working class kids who wouldn't be able to afford the route of uh, drama schools um, and then they brought Bugsy Malone to the West End when I was 16 so I moved down here on my own I can't believe that now um, and did that because you class as an adult at 16 so <laughs> I was just living in London on my own. An agent saw it and then I stayed down here. So I've been very lucky, touch wood, and I'm still here. Just well, about. <laughs> you're, you're talking about luck, but, but Sheridan, you are a, 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 such a, a talent. And when I see you on stage, it, it just seems so easy for you. Is it? Is it as easy as, as you make it seem or are you really working hard underneath? To... Oh, thank you. Um, I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> um, I, 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 I love it. There's something about theatre, I think, that gives you that live buzz. You just can't get that in filming. So when I'm on stage, at, I'm nervous. I still get nervous. I get nervous before every show. Uh, but once I'm out there, it's electrifying that that you know that relationship with an audience, which is which is why opening night is slightly strange because it's you're slightly detached from the audience because it's meant to be that they're just watching this piece um, until the end, and then we then I can thank them all, you know, in the bows and, and, yeah. and smile at them. Because I've heard it ends with a bit of a song and dance. It does, because we shake it all off at the end. <laughs> it's a quite dark show, but at the end, there's a big old just let's shake it off number, and I love that. And that's when I get to see the audience and um, tell them how much I appreciate them, you know. So, um, but yeah, there's just live theatre, there's nothing like it. And th th because this is so immersive like the audience are filmed as well in in this you know they're on the screen okay. I, I film a bit outside on the street in the middle of soho live every night um you know it's just anything can happen in this show yeah every show is different as well which is exciting so it's, it's a buzz to go out there you know? the director's known for that isn't he i saw yeah. his network at, at the national ah, theater which, which also had a, a scene that started out on the south bank and ended, really? ended up on the stage that's yeah, his so, style isn't it yeah. Style, yeah so do people come to that point in Soho at that time and think, oh, she'll be here in a minute, we can watch? <laughs> Sometimes you get people with their phones out. And I'm, I, but on a Saturday, you know, Friday, Saturday night in Soho, I'm slumped right with, 
between two pubs when, when the, they find me. And the music is pounding out. So some nights I'm dancing, some nights right. <laughs> you know, I change it up. I'm crawling across the cobbles. And, but it's all fun. It's just, it's just new. It's a new way of working and for me and something I've never done before. So I'm just loving the experience. I'm very honoured to be part of it. Can I talk about a couple of things that didn't happen? Yeah. Scylla, the musical, that yeah. was, that the, late, the late Bill Kenwright oh, was, was going know, to, that was so sad. To, to bring. Yeah. It really was. But uh, that was something that you were going to do, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you did, and you did the Scylla TV show and it was announced that yeah. Sheridan is going to play Scylla. You're yeah. going to do it in Liverpool. You're going to bring it to the West End. Yeah, it was all set. And, it just and then it was locked down and we couldn't do it. So you know what I'm going to ask, don't you? What? Will you do it? Can you do Will it? I? Oh, <laughs> not without Bill. No. Can't do it. Without. But the company's still going, isn't it? Still Bill's people. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know if I'm too old to play young Silla now. <laughs> I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> sure. Shut up. I can still do the voice. Um, I just need the teeth in. <laughs> On the way in today, I listened to your recording uh, that you made with the um, Royal Liver Liverpool Philharmonic oh, Orchestra. Oh yeah. The duet you did with with Silla, and my God, that's good. Oh, thank you. That is lovely. It was it? an honour to be to do that. Actually, she was incredible, and it was great to play her. I loved playing Scylla. Mm. That was one of my favourite roles as well. And the Bridget Jones musical didn't happen. That was yeah. That was that, that was down to I think it, that was something from behind the scenes. But it was gonna. There was a, quite a few workshops, and then I don't know. I th it kind of never happened. But that would have been brilliant. Um, it was Lily Allen who wrote the music. Um, so. But I think something, I don't know, they couldn't work out dates or something. But that, that again, would have been brilliant. But right. that, maybe it'll happen one day. Who knows? Yeah. I'll have to go back blonde then. <laughs> <laughs> maybe blonde for the next TV role, perhaps. I think I do, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get it back blonde, but Evo um, and Yang, because they have this artistic team and there's a huge creative team that they work together, they decided they wanted my character to have the dark hair. So, And he doesn't like wigs or anything fake like that, so... You just go with it. Wow, <laughs> you do, uh, do what, he, what he tells you. Sounds sound like a whole new way of doing musical theatre. Yeah, that's what I think is important. I think it's important to have different stuff out there, especially in the West End, you know, because if it was in all the theatres, um, you know, that, that are in the West End, it wouldn't be such a shock. But it's, it's exciting that it's in the West End and it's different and that people have to think and, and look at the layers. And lots of people at Stage Door say to me, oh, I've been once, but I need to come again. And they've booked like five more times wow. because you find something new each time okay. you watch it, um, which is brilliant. And, yeah. uh, you know, so. So that's great. And in that beautiful Gilgood Theatre as oh, well. Oh, stunning theatre. It's little so jewel beautiful. of a theatre, isn't it? it really Chocolate is. Box, I think they call them, don't they? Those it's theaters. it's, it's yeah. stunning. It's yeah. stunning. And the, the staff there are lovely. The company are... I'm just having a ball. Yeah. I really am. It, you wouldn't think so in such a heavy show, <laughs> you know, where I have to have a mental breakdown eight times a week. But I'm loving it because of the company and the people I'm working with. So And the audiences. Sheridan, we ran out of time, but thank you thank so much. Thank you for having me on. I Pleasure. love smooth. Oh, good. <laughs>